This is CNN Breaking News. We have breaking news in the investigation into an alleged attack against Empire star Jesse Smollett. Two law enforcement sources with knowledge of the investigation tell CNN Chicago police believe Jesse Smollett paid two men to orchestrate the assault. The actor told police that on January 29th, two masked men beat him, doused him with a liquid he believed to be bleach, and put a rope around his neck, all while shouting racial and homophobic slurs. I want to go out to CNN national correspondent Ryan Young in Chicago now for the latest. Ryan, what are we learning? Well, we were talking to those two law enforcement sources with knowledge of the investigation. They tell CNN that Chicago police believe Jesse Smollett paid the two men to orchestrate the assault. The brothers who were arrested Wednesday were released without charges Friday after police cited the discovery of new evidence. Now, the sources tell CNN that the two men are now cooperating fully with law enforcement. Smollett told authorities he was attacked early January 29th by two men who were yelling out racial and homophobic slurs. And he said one attacker put a rope around his neck and poured an unknown chemical substance on him. The sources tell CNN that there are records that show the two brothers purchased the rope around Smollett's neck at an Ace Hardware store in Chicago. Now, CNN's attempts to reach both Smollett's representative and attorney were unsuccessful right now. I can tell you police have been working this case. Twelve detectives mm -hmm. have been working nonstop on this right now. More twists and turns. But, of course, now the focus is on the investigation and how detectives move this to the next phase. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Here to help me break it down further, CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. And on the phone is CNN chief media correspondent, host of Reliable Sources, Brian Stelter. Brian, let me start with you. Um, I'm sure, like me, you have been following this over the past week or two, uh, as has the country. This story has fascinated us. Uh, what's your reaction to this awful, awful news? Well, now the ball is back in Jesse Smollett's court. Uh, a spokesman for the Chicago Police Department tells me they did reach out to Smollett's attorneys last night after receiving new information from those two men that had been questioned by police. Uh, what I was told by the Chicago PD just now was, we need to talk to Jesse Smollett as soon as possible. We need to ask him additional questions. So, frankly, I see. I think the question now is, what is Smollett going to tell police? Is he going to cooperate with this investigation? Those are open questions. But because from the very beginning there were political connotations to this story that were undeniable, because sources close to Smollett said these two attackers said this is MAGA country and that they were Trump supporters, this became partisan and polarizing on day one. I wish it wasn't, but that is the reality. And that has a layer to the story that makes it even more troubling. Uh, yeah. And obviously, again, we have to wait to see what Smollett's going to say now. From inside, how do you think the media, you know, the media had to had to cover this um, and had to cover this, you know, cautiously and responsibly. How do you think on the whole uh, the media has has done a, 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 as a job? Strong, high quality news organizations have tried to be very careful all along on this story. But because TMZ said just a few hours after the alleged attack, that this was a Trump supporter attack and had political connotations. Like I said, it became partisan from day one. And when you're looking at those random websites all over the world, spreading information, you can, you can end up, uh, I think, having the, this story was able to be uh, weaponized in many different ways. But at its heart, it is still a mystery. If he had yeah. concocted this and orchestrated this, why? There was a rumor out there a few days ago that he did this because he was afraid he was being ridden off the show Empire. Yeah. They were going to kill off his character. Well, the studio, Fox, Fox denied that was the case. Mm -hmm. So the motive here, there's still a mystery at the heart of the story. Brian Stelzer, thank you so much. Uh, Joey, what is Jesse facing legally? I don't even, what would the charges yeah. be? Yeah, well, you know what I see prior to even that, you know, just my reaction prior to being a lawyer, just as a human being, we're in an era nowadays where there's so much discord, right? The political rhetoric is so high and inflamed, and so you have something like this, which just adds to it. It adds to the hate, right? When you say, and you know, people attacked me, and they did these vicious, vile things, and so it's so unfortunate. Mm. But there are consequences, and the consequences are that you can't file false reports, right? Because when you do that, and, and listen, 
the detectives, you asked Brian about the media's yeah. response to this, which I thought was very responsible. Mm -hmm. I thought the detectives handled it very responsibly, too, in going and in interviewing and leaving no stone unturned and right. doing surveillance and everything that they did to see if there was something really here. But, but at the end of the day, money. exactly. And that's my point, Essie. Yeah. And that's why it's a crime, because you're diverting resources from things that are real. In right? a city that needs them. Exactly. People who have real harm, victims that are actual victims. And because of that, it's criminalized. And I think if you look at something like this, there's really a deterrent value to prosecuting this because you can't have people making claims like this. And look at the people who backed him, supported him, yeah. loved him, still love him, sure, but, you know, and just really had his back. And so it's a major disappointment, I think, to all concerned, but it's a prosecutable offense. And that's why mm -hmm. I believe he's hired counsel. So, do you imagine Chicago PD have concrete evidence that he staged this beyond just the word of the two brothers? So what I'd have to believe, and again, I always, you know, I don't want to speculate, but what I'll say, I think, based on information and belief, right, right. is the police have been working this case. There have been multiple detectives. There have been search warrants issued and executed of the homes of these Nigerian individuals. They have questioned them. They have spoke to them at length about what was what. They have left no stone unturned. And they they have got his them, records. Importantly. They released them without charges. And so I would have to believe that there's some concrete evidence in addition to the interviews that they've conducted, which leads them to believe that, you know what? It just ain't so. And that's a big disappointment. It's a problem. I mean, it's wonderful. It did not happen uh, in accordance with what he said, but it's just so disheartening and disappointing that you put out a narrative like that. Uh, well, and if you're Rahm Emanuel yeah. and a citizen just cast your city in a terrible light, right. um, and you already have real crime problem. That's right. How do you handle this? It, it's right. It, it adds fuel to the fire. Uh, you know, I think, again, in keeping with what we were talking about earlier, Essie, yeah. I think, you know, if there's anything we need right now, it's unity. Yeah. It's a lack of the discord. It's lack of homophobic issues and people talking about, you know, race in a, in a negative way. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're in a day and age where we're talking about immigrants in a derogatory way, and we have, and we're having that face, fight. I mean, 100%. There on, is real pain. Precisely. Here. And so this adds to that pain. And it's just, I think we're in troubling times. And so I think Rahm Emanuel, it's the time to be conciliatory, bringing people together mm -hmm. and doing something about instances like this, which just, it shouldn't have happened. Well, it's um, a bizarre final twist. I'm sure we'll learn much, much yeah. more in this developing story. Joey, thank you for helping us sort through this Always. still developing case. Ending on a quick political note.